Unraveling the Alliance, Why Britain and Japan Parted Ways in the Early 20th Century In the early 20th century, Britain and Japan shared several commonalities. Both were island nations that had strained relations with their closest neighbors. They also held the status of naval imperial powers, preferring to engage in conflicts in foreign territories. Importantly, they both harbored a strong dislike for Russia. Surprisingly, these shared characteristics remained unchanged throughout the early 20th century. Nevertheless, in 1921, the alliance between Britain and Japan unraveled, prompting the question of why this happened. To provide context, in the late 19th century, Britain viewed most major powers with suspicion. Germany was emerging as a significant threat. Russia showed interest in India and Central Asia, the United States asserted itself in the Americas, and France was France. While Britain had enjoyed a period of self-imposed geopolitical isolation, external threats became too pressing to ignore. Consequently, they sought an ally. Traditional options like Portugal were no longer as suitable, and Britain was hesitant to align with any European rivals due to the risk of being drawn into a major conflict. Additionally, the United States, while isolated, posed a threat to Britain's Caribbean territories. Therefore, Japan emerged as the ideal ally as both nations were concerned about Russian expansion into what they considered their rightful spheres of influence. They also shared apprehensions about the growing U.S. Navy and sought to compel China to purchase their goods. In 1902, Britain and Japan formalized their alliance, with Japan recognizing Britain's dominion in India and Britain acknowledging Japan's interests in Korea and China while discouraging Japanese annexation of these regions. Importantly, they pledged mutual support in case of war against two or more powers. For Britain, this treaty symbolized its departure from isolation, while for Japan, it represented Britain's commitment to assist them against Russia, and it was considered an equal treaty, a departure from previous unequal agreements. The alliance faced its first test when Japan went to war with Russia in 1904. Britain did not intervene disappointing Japan, which had hoped for British neutrality as a counter to Russia's alliance with France. Japan emerged victorious, solidifying its status as a great power, and Britain was eager to renew the alliance. This time, Japan had more leverage, and Britain accepted that Korea was destined for annexation. However, cracks in the alliance appeared at the Versailles Conference when Japan sought a racial equality clause in the treaty which Britain rejected due to objections within its empire, particularly from South Africa and Australia. This offended the Japanese, as no one desires an ally that doesn't view them as equals. In 1921, the alliance wasn't renewed due to deep divisions within the British Empire regarding foreign policy. The British government wanted to renew it as a safeguard against potential Soviet, French, or American aggression. In contrast, Canada and Australia viewed Japan as an untrustworthy ally and a threat to their trade. Moreover, the United States pushed for closer relations with Britain, and with the conclusion of the Washington Naval Treaty, the likelihood of French or American expansion in the region appeared low. Consequently, renewing the alliance seemed less beneficial to Britain, leading to its decision to let it expire. In 1923, both nations officially acknowledge its end, compelling Japan to seek new allies.